Your $1,200 stimulus check has not come in yet. We're gonna talk about why and how you can get it as soon as possible. Let's get right into the video. All right, so we're gonna briefly go over the qualifications to make sure you qualify for the $1,200 stimulus check. All right, to start things off, if you have a adjusted gross income of $99,000 or more, you do not qualify for the stimulus package. To qualify for 100% of the $1,200, you have to make less than $75,000 in adjusted gross income for the year of 2019. Um, so on your tax returns, on the AGI, if it does show less than 75K, you do qualify for the $1,200. Now it adjusts. Once you exceed the $75,000 mark, it will adjust that your check will be lessened up until $99,000. Now if you do file head of household as a single parent, if you make over $136,500 a year, you will not qualify for this stimulus check. Dependents under the age of 16 will not qualify for this, the $1,200 stimulus check. So if you're under the age of 16 and your parents claim you as a dependent, which they probably rightfully should, you do not qualify for the $1,200. However, your parents will qualify for an additional $500 for, per each dependent that does meet this description. Dependent adults. So if your parents do claim you and you are over the age of 18, you also do not qualify for the $1,200 stimulus check. So this is gonna be a lot of college students ranging from the ages of 18 to 23. They're in college, but their parents still claim them as a dependent um, on their returns, on their taxes. So you will not qualify if your parents do claim you. Um, so, and you also do not qualify for the additional 500. So please keep that in mind. Okay, also US citizens and green card holders have to be a US citizen or green card holder with a social security number to qualify. If you do not have a social security number, a valid social, you will not qualify for this stimulus check. Now, if you check all those boxes and you believe you're still owed a check, uh, now let's get into why you might not have received your check as of yet. A very common thing that I've been hearing in the last couple days is people are just going to wait for their paper check. This is truly why I'm making this video because people are opting to wait for this check. I want to give you guys just an idea of the number of people of, that are waiting for checks as of right now, paper checks. It's anywhere between 60 to 90 million residents. Now the IRS is urging people to go to their website, irs.gov, and filling in the direct deposit information. So they can wire this money to you much faster than they can get the checks out because they're only capable of mailing out about 5 million checks per week. Now, if you guys do the math with a, with a, with a high count of 90 million people waiting for paper checks, it could be months. Um, we're talking three to four months till you see your actual stimulus check. So I urge you, I'm putting the link in my description. Go to the irs.gov. If you do qualify, please make sure they have your direct deposit information correctly into their portal. Fill it in and you will be on, let's just, let's just say the expedited list. They're actually holding off on mailing checks because they're wanting to urge you guys to set up auto pay so they can get this money to you in the next couple weeks. Another thing, you guys wanna make sure, for the people that have gotten their checks, they filed their, their 18 and 19 tax return and they were owed a tax refund. And they already had their, their, their direct deposit information on their return. So the IRS had their information and they were able to get their $1,200 stimulus check instantly. And I've heard of influx of people getting it in the past couple weeks. So if you wanna make sure if you got a tax return, the last time you filed was 2018, you wanna make sure that bank account is still active. If it's not, once again, you wanna make sure you go to the irs.gov website, update your banking information to what it is currently, to an active bank account, so they know. And if you're waiting for a paper check, I really urge you guys not to do this because it will be a very long time till you guys get these payments. We're talking about 
there, there's, there's deceased people getting payments right now and you're not because they don't, you haven't put in your, your direct deposit. Um, there's been uh, thousands of deceased individuals that have received uh, payments, that have received their stimulus checks because the IRS is just pumping out $1,200, uh, $1,700, and so on and so forth to, to individuals that already have their direct deposit set up and as their goal is to get as much money as they can out to the economy in this time of need as quickly as possible. So once again, you guys want to go down below irs.gov, fill out your direct deposit information and make sure your bank account information matches the, your personal name and make sure your routing and account number is correct when you do so. So you do, you really want to be thorough, but you want to do that so you get your check as quick as possible. If you didn't file your 2019 tax returns and you made less than 75,000 in 2018, you want to make sure that if you're owed a tax return, you want to make sure uh, that you understand as a single individual, if you made more than 75,000 in the year of 19, however, you have not filed your tax return as of yet, which the, the deadline has been extended, you want to be very knowledgeable that once you file your 19, 2019 tax return, and if you did make more than 75,000, you will be required to refund the $1,200 stimulus check. So don't be surprised when they take it out of your tax return uh, the following year. So keep that in mind as well. If you typically don't get a refund because maybe you're an entrepreneur and you owe taxes in the, at the end of the year, you want to make sure the IRS has your direct deposit information. And you guys, regardless, if you are owed a stimulus check, if you've been promised one, if, if, all, if, if you meet all the qualifications, you want to make sure you go to irs.gov, you put in your information for the direct deposit so you can get on the express list so you get your checks as soon as possible. You're truly swamped with individuals waiting for paper checks and you can do yourself a huge service to get your checks uh, much smoother and much faster if you just set up your direct deposit and you will get your check much faster than waiting in the line for the paper checks to come in August. So guys, please be sure to uh, go use the link below to set up your direct deposit uh, and get your checks much faster. And after you do get that check, I want you to come right back to my channel and check out how to double that check with, with the video below. Make sure you know how to double that money and turn 1200 into 2400 bucks. And just to have a great booster, claim your free stocks with Webull, the link is below. Claim your free stock with Robinhood when you guys sign up with those two platforms. It's free money. I don't see why not. Claim your money, get your free stocks, double your money. Check out my uh, YouTube videos on how to invest, how to invest $1,000, how to invest your stimulus check, how to double it with the videos below. Guys, my name is AP. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Here are some shout outs from people in the comment section uh, that show support. Please like this video. It truly helps out the algorithm and it truly helps out my YouTube channel. Like, subscribe. It's your boy AP and until next time, peace.